O Lord, hear my voice, for I have called to you. Be my help. Do not abandon or forsake me, O God, my Saviour. Let us pray. O God, strength of those who hope in you, graciously hear our pleas. And since without you mortal frailty can do nothing, grant us always the help of your grace, that following your commands, we may please you by our resolve and our deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first book of the Kings. Naboth of Jezreel had a vineyard close by the palace of Ahab, king of Samaria. And Ahab said to Naboth, Give me your vineyard to be my vegetable garden, since it adjoins my house. I will give you a better vineyard for it, or, if you prefer, I will give you its worth in money. But Naboth answered Ahab, The Lord forbid that I should give you the inheritance of my ancestors. Ahab went home gloomy and out of temper at the words of Naboth of Jezreel, I will not give you the inheritance of my fathers. He lay down on his bed and turned his face away and refused to eat. His wife Jezebel came to him. Why are you so dispirited, she said, that you will not eat? He said, I have been speaking to Naboth of Jezreel. I said, give me your vineyard, either for money or, if you prefer, for another vineyard in exchange. But he said, I will not give you my vineyard. Then his wife Jezebel said, You make a fine king of Israel, and no mistake. Get up and eat, cheer up, and you will feel, and you will feel better. I will get you the vineyard of Naboth of Jezreel for myself. So she wrote letters in Nahab's name and sealed them with his seal, sending them to the elders and nobles who lived where Naboth lived. In the letters she wrote, Proclaim a fast and put Naboth in the forefront of the people. Confront him with a couple of scoundrels who will accuse him like this. You have cursed God and the king. Then take him outside and stone him to death. The men of Naboth's town, the elders and nobles who lived in his town, did what Jezebel ordered, what was written in the letters she had sent them. They proclaimed a fath and put Naboth in the forefront of the people. Then the two scoundrels came and stood in front of him and made their accusation. Naboth has cursed God and the king. They led him outside the town and stoned him to death. Then they sent word to Jezebel. Naboth has been stoned to death. When Jezebel heard that Naboth had been stoned to death, she said to Ahab, Get up, take possession of the vineyard, which Naboth of Jezreel would not give you for money, for Naboth is no longer alive, he is dead. When Ahab heard that Naboth was dead, he got up to go down to the vineyard of Naboth of Jezreel and take possession of it. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, listen to my groaning. Lord, listen to my groaning. To my words give ear, O Lord. Give he to my groaning. Attend to the sound of my cries, my King and my God. Lord, listen to my groaning. You are no God who loves evil. No sinner is your guest. The boastful shall not stand their ground. Before your face, Lord, listen to my groaning. 
You hate all to do evil. You destroy all who lie. The deceitful and bloodthirsty man. The Lord detests. Lord, listen to my groaning. Alleluia. 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 Your word is a lamp for my feet and a light on my path. Alleluia. 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 A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, You have learned how it was said, eye for eye and tooth for tooth. But I say this to you, Offer the wicked man no resistance. On the contrary, if anyone hits you on the right cheek, offer him the other as well. If a man takes you to law and would have your tunic, let him have your cloak as well. And if anyone orders you to go one mile, go two miles with him. Give to anyone who asks, and if anyone wants to borrow, do not turn away. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. To God the Father Almighty, dear brothers and sisters, may every prayer of our heart be directed, for his will it is that all humanity should be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth. For the Holy Church of God, that the Lord may graciously watch over her and care for her. Be pleased to hear us. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. For the peoples of all the world, that the Lord may graciously preserve harmony among them. Be pleased to hear us. Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. For all who are oppressed by any kind of need, that the Lord may graciously grant them relief. Be pleased to hear us. Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. For our souls in our own community, that the Lord may graciously receive us as a sacrifice acceptable to himself. Be pleased to hear us. Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. O God, our refuge and our strength, hear the prayers of your church. For you yourself are the source of all devotion, and grant, we pray, that what we ask in faith we may truly obtain through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Almighty and merciful God bless and protect us, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.